Hey, Joel and Well, a lot of times when we think about people with mental illness coming into contact with the criminal justice system, it's often when they interact with police or even find themselves behind bars. But the state is also wanting to make sure that people can get the help that they need, even if they're already on probation, so that they can get back on the right track. Across the Triangle and the state, organizations are rethinking how police operate. Take Durham's successful heart program, diverting thousands of calls for people in crisis where police aren't needed and deploying trained counselors instead. But for those who do end up going through the court system, it can be a more difficult situation. According to UNC's School of Social Work, 16 to 17 percent, nearly one in five North Carolinians on probation, have mental illness. But while across the country, less than a third of counties have mental health screeners available, and only about a third reported having mental health first aid training, in North Carolina, we're leading the way to address the problem. UNC's social work school is helping train probation officers to work with those with mental illness to help keep them on track and know what signs to look out for. Yeah, and it starts with that initial phone call. I mean, it's a person who's in a neighborhood or who's maybe having dinner and sees someone on the street corner talking to themselves or, you know, be behaving a little erratically in, in some cases, and I'm not saying everybody, but that the interpretation can be, oh, something dangerous is happening. And then fear of people with mental illnesses. Yeah, and part of that training is that uh, once they, these probation officers get trained up, the goal is to lower their caseload so they can focus on uh, individualized attention, especially for people facing mental illness. And the, the program continues to gain traction here in North Carolina. Right now it's in over 30 counties. They're doing some more of these trainings. Uh, by, the, by the end of this year, they're hoping to have more than 50 counties, and eventually the goal will be the entire state. But uh, definitely important work that's happening here in North Carolina. Reporting live, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.